If I'm Nonito Donaire, what do you tell me right now before your fight? Si eres Nonito Donaire, ¿qué le dirías tú antes de su la pelea? Prepárate muy bien porque te van a noquear. <laughs> Prepare yourself very well, as I'm gonna knock you out. A few moments later. Good oh, hey, out of here. It's over with. It's over with. Sa umiinit na patut sa dahan ng mga kampo ni Fernando Monchel ng Mexico at Nonito Donaire ng Pilipinas para sa napipintong pagtutuos ng dalawang buksingero, lalong tumindi ang interes ng mga panatiko ng boxing sa buong mundo kung sino ba kina Donaire at Monchel ang mananaig sa ibabaw ng lona. Isa ito sa mga pinakatumatak na tunggalian ng magagaling na buksingero sa Bantamweight Division kung saan nakataya ang WBC at WBO World Bantamweight title na Monchel para sa kanyang ikaapat na pagdepensa ng kanyang titulo. Sa Pinoy Challenger na si Donaire, na nasa ikalawang laban pa lamang sa bantamweight, mula nang ito ay makiat ng timbang mula super flyweight. Ito ang sagupaan kung saan ang kampiyon na si Mundial ang itinuring na dehado. Dahil sa likas na mas malaking buksingero si Donaire, at naging mas impresibo ang huling laban nito, naitala ng mga ads maker ang Pinoy Challenger bilang paboritong mananalo. Gayun paman, hindi birong kalaban si Montiel sa ibabaw ng lona. Dahil bago si Donaire, tatlong Pinoy boxer na ang tinalo ni Montiel sa laban. Nasa panong ito ay may professional boxing record na 44 wins, 2 losses at 34 wins by knockout. Kaya naman mataas pa rin ang kumpiyansi ni Montiel na kaya niyang talunin ang paboritong si Donaire. Sometimes the elite of a division meet and we wind up with a dud. Such was the case with Tim Bradley and Devin Alexander a couple weeks ago. Sometimes we get a classic, like 11 years ago, in this building on this day, with Marco Barrera and Antonio Barrera and Eric Morales. Which one will this be? 12 rounds to settle that score between Montiel and Donaire. Dahil sa hindi patiyak ni Montiel kung paano papasukin ang depensa ni Donaire sa round 1, ay tila ba inaabangan lang ng Mexican fighter kung paano aatake ang Pinoy Challenger na nagpatikay magad ng kanan sa Mekanong di malaman ang gagawin sa laban. Donaire with the 2-inch height advantage. Boy, is that a piece. And this is some time that separates boxing from other uh, combat sports. And Montiel took a shot from Donaire. Good luck! Montiel in recent years has developed a devastating one-punch type left hook. And Donaire will have to be very careful of that one-punch left hook because like you said, it can be devastating. That's what Montiel used to take Hasegawa's belt in Japan last year. Montiel has seen the canvas six times in his career. Montiel showed a very good hit in early in the fight. Let go, let go. They almost fight like the bigger guys. They push definitely like the yeah. bigger guys. Montiel, a little off balance has done and landed. I see Donia come. He slips the jet, the right hand, and rolls under and comes up with a left hook, a beautiful left hook to the chin early in the fight. Close landed by Donaire in round number one. So far we have excellent high-level, high-speed chess. Pagamat nagawang patamaan ni Montiel si Donaire sa mga iilang pagkakataon sa round one, ibang klaseng delubyo na ang sinuong ni Fernando Montiel sa round two. Dahil dito niya makikita at ng buong mundo, kung gaano kadelikado ang isang Nonito Donaire sa division kanyang pinagkaharian. Left hand from Donaire. Matia showing a strong chin here, but that was a beautiful right hand he just took from Donaire. Donaire destroyed Garchinian and has rarely lost a round since then. Now, now you see Matia starting to put the pressure on because he realizes he's not going to win an outside boxing match. So now he's starting to apply the pressure a little bit more. 
Floyd, how should he go about doing that? Well, he's doing it with feints right now. He got his hands up high and he's faking at the guy. Countered after Donaire missed with a wild right. Sa atin din ang pinakawalang suntok ni Donaire gamit ang pamatay nitong left hook. Pumilata ang kampiyon sa ibabaw ng lona at ilang segundong nangisay bago nakabangon. Pagamat na pagbigyan pa ito ng pagkakataon para ipagpatuloy ang laban, natigil din ito ng muli itong tamaan. Manny Pacquiao, Sergio Martinez, and Russell Moore is going to let it continue. Panalong ito ni Nonito Donaire ang nagbigay sa kanya ng titulo bilang pinakabagong WBC at WBO World Bantamweight Champion. Itinanghal din ito bilang knockout of the year ng kilalang ring magazine at pangalawa sa mga Pinoy na nagkaroon ng 3 division world champion. Yep. Montiel was rolling around on the ground. Yeah, but you gotta give that, that, the champ that type of respect. You know, you gotta give him that much respect. Perfect counter shot. By Nonito Donaire. The winner, by way of technical knockout, and now the new WBC and WBO Bantamweight Champion of the World, the Filipino Flash, No. Apat na buwan matapos matalo kay Donaire, nakabalik si Fernando Montiel sa pagboboxing at nagtala ito ng sampung panalo mula 2011 hanggang 2015. Huling lumaban si Montiel noong 2016 kung saan natalo ito by a first round knockout ni George Lara na kapwa rin niya Meksikano.